Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos is in jail. Woo! Let's go ahead and talk to everyone and see and just sit down on this dude. What do we do? Just stay here? We'll get tortured for sure. Don't sound so excited about that selfie. We can't just sit here. We have to think of a way to escape. Anyone get a plan? Well, we could skin this little guy and wear him as a disguise. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I want to wear your skin. Doesn't sound like you were. Well, we can't rely on magic here, so we have to go with weapons. We have to go somehow get them back. Weapons, huh? My weapons are these fists of mine. I could do some serious damage with that weapons. It's up to me, baby! Let me go. I'll go get the weapons back. Oh, yeah! He worked as here as Ward, so you know the place. <laughs> Not really. All Ward did, was, uh, Ward did was mop the floors. Just leave it to me! You two lie down there. Zell... <laughs> I hope this works. Guard, guard! We need some help! Open the door! What's the problem? The women are unconscious! I think a snake bit them! What? What do you mean, snake? There's no snakes out here. Only... Yeah! Assume the position. Well, I'm off! Let me snap this guy's neck while I'm gone. Huh, you wanna go too? I guess, just don't get in the way. But like seriously, do something with that body. I believe we just need to go, is it up? I think we just need to go, oh no, no, we need to go downstairs. No, upstairs. Yes. Upstairs? Yeah, okay. No, 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 we're going back downstairs. This place has a lot of floors, but we'll be exploring all of them later. Uh, hi. <laughs> Look at this! Seed weapons! I mean, this is just the whip, and this is a nunchuck, but this is a gun blade! Is that what you, they call a gun blade? Check this out! A whip? A nunchuck? I. Y you an escapee? Yeah, I'm here to reclaim these. <laughs> just, I'll just walk somewhere. Hi, right, I'm here to kill you, and uh, take these weapons back. Sorry. Oh, I should have peeled. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to punch you. Right in the face. Oh, dual baby. I have it on auto, don't I? Yeah. Oh, that's it? Oh, maybe I didn't have it on auto. I thought I had it on auto. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, did I turn it off auto? Because I was like, oh, that's kind of lame. Piece of cake, baby! I swear to God, I put it on auto. Just put this in my pocket. Because JRPG... Oh, for sure I put it on auto. Yo, sorry to keep you waiting. It actually wasn't that long. Uh, sell the weapons? Uh, voila. Woohoo, all right! Time to go kick some ass. Yes! Freaking morphin' time here. Right on! I'm gonna skin all the people here and wear it! I mean, freedom! Rawr! Alright, let's actually... I need a... I think I'm gonna take off all the junctions and, uh... 
do a little bit of rearranging my stuff. Just to make sure everyone has magic and we're evenly split, pretty much. Alright, so I made a mistake. I should not have been learning this. I should be learning this right now. So I can actually organize it a little bit better. Sadly... Self, you have the cures, right? Yeah. Sadly, it looks like I messed up a little bit. And so, right now I have Diablos and Brothers on Selfie. So it's pretty much support character right now. She doesn't have to be support. She's just going to be support for me. She's going to be my mugger. That's why our attack is so low. I gave her HP 20% because why not? She also hasn't counter half on because funsies. Uh, this is Zell. He has Ifrit, Siren, and Carbuncle on. Uh, for abilities, I got, you know, strength plus 60% there and move fine. I would, I want to get Siren off of him and put it on, uh, Selfie eventually, so she will just be complete support. Um, or whoever's in that third position, I should say. Uh, then we could take Carbuncle off of her and put it on, not, no, Carbuncle off of you. No. Oh, no, then we just wouldn't matter, because Carbuncle will have a magic stat. You're already on Carbuncle. So yeah, once Carbuncle learns magic, we can switch off Siren to, uh, to Selfie, and then we can put Auto Haste back on to Zell. Alright, yeah, it was a little bit confusing, because I'm trying to, I was trying to set up my characters the way that I normally did, and I looked at the notes I have, and I was like, oh, I completely messed up. <laughs> Is this the cell with the uncooperative, with the uncooperative prisoners? Yeah, this is it! See, we should have snapped his neck! Please give him something to really complain about. Oh, should we go? Should we be picking up prisoners so soon after getting transferred here? Just be quiet and let me handle this. These are the prisoners, Lieutenant Biggs, Private Wedge. Biggs? Wedge? <laughs> so, so we meet again. Now we'll teach you the lesson we should have taught you earlier. I know it might seem cowardly to fight unarmed prisoners, but I hope you appreciate our position. Hey, it's a dog eat dog. Um, they're fully armed, sir. What? Oh, how? Ah, hell with it. Let's go, wedge. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be drawing some uh, some spells in this battle. Uh, we also want to steal freaking the regen ring from Biggs. They shouldn't pose any problems. That was demoted because of you. I'm only a lieutenant now. I don't know why they demoted you. To be quite honest, you you got what you were you did what you were supposed to do. So we're gonna want reflect because reflect is like the best goddamn spirit thing I'm gonna junction and we're gonna want haste for speed later and you should have regen as well um, is that regen oh that was slow slows aren't too bad is this regen it has to be because it's the only one left uh, mug him yeah three regens so yeah pretty much I'm gonna be getting a hundred regens a hundred hastes and a hundred reflects from uh, Biggs I'm also probably going to cast, like, regen on everyone in the party, so I don't die. Not that I think we would die. Oh, good lord. Okay, fine. Uh, man. I apparently have my setup way different than the last time I made these notes, because that took way longer than I thought it was. So, uh, I already mugged Strength Love from Wedge. I'm trying to get... Uh, the regen ring from freaking Biggs here. These guys are a joke, by the way. This, there you go. They barely do any damage, and they die like in two shots or three shots, depending on how your levels are. Not levels, but your junctions are. So I got, you know, reflex for my spirit junction. I got haste for speed junction later on. We don't have a speed junction yet, and I got regen for vitality junction. Now regen is actually a better. HP junction than uh, Kiraga is, but it's also just a better vitality junction than, say, well, anything else we have right now. I think Protect might be pretty good. 
Oh, uh, you can't even have like that. But life might be pretty good as well in comparison to that. There you go. That's not too bad. We can't do spirit on you just yet. Uh, but you will get the benefit of this. So let's go ahead and give you regen and then reflect. I mean, I guess we could give you haste for magic right now. It's not much better. How the hell are we this bad? We could give you Karaga, but I'm kind of using that right now. That's not even that bad. We're actually completely breaking the game still. At the same time, it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> That I have, I have these plans set up for certain junctions, and then I'm like, why is this taking so long? Oh, you can get Spirit here. We can do, um... Yeah, you had Kiarga there. I mean, it's better than nothing. I did put you on Magic, so I guess that worked out pretty well for you. But yeah, Magic attacks to us are not going to do much else now. I'm going to keep you there, but I guess we can give you... What's better? I guess we can... Is life good here? Not really. I guess we can give you regen here for now, until you get vitality. Hi, dots! Ugh. <laughs> so, you know, that worked out fairly well. Uh, do we not go that way? Do we go out the front? There we do. Alright. So, we... All oh, right. Just don't think you can just walk out. Ugh, this is why we kill people. Floor seven. Skull should be around here somewhere. You have any ideas? S -t 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 -t. Guess not. We'll find Squall and then we'll we're yeah, we're out of here. Got it? What the? This is why you kill. Warning! Escapee alert! Monsters will be, will be set loose on each floor. If the escapee refuses to surrender, you have permission to kill. The anti-magic field will be listed, lifted. Oh, thank you. It was lifted in the other battle as well. But, alright, let's go... all the way to the bottom of this place. So just head all the way down. We have encounter half on, so we shouldn't be getting into as many encounters as we were. Uh, they sh Oh, there's a save point here. Yeah, that's gonna come in. Oh, right, we got uh, a barrier here. Uh, so we want to go around. Now, there are some cells that we want to check out. Um, but I, most of the cells I think I want to check out are on... The top floor? No, there might be... Oh, new enemy. There might be some down here. I'll have to double check on my way back up. So, dog, what do you have? You have as soon as... I mean, as soon as are good. I wouldn't mind getting some of those. But I mug you. Stale orbs, huh? Maybe I'll get a Sunas on the way back up. Level 13. Oh, we learned magic. Oh, did we learn anything? I gotta really... Yeah, of course I did. Um, Do that there. You're close. You're not close. You learned... Let's... Oh, you learned this. Let's do treatment next, because that's really good. You're still doing that, still working on that, still working on that. All right, cool. Beans. Now, the layout of these places are generally the same. Some floors will have barriers on them. Uh, some will not. But for this stuff, it's pretty much just gonna be me running all the way down and getting into random encounters. Oh, these guys are were on the world map, weren't they? For uh, near Delling City. We got a ton of those. But yeah, the, aside from... I mean, there will, there will be some newer encounters up above later. The robot dude yet? Oh, it's two and some soldiers! See, do you ain't getting away? I mean, we are. Sorry. Oh, a potion. Wow, we definitely don't need those. Uh, maybe I should... Let's selfie attack and then try carding them. Because we're going to gain a lot of level. Oh, hey, screws, potions. Nice. But all that AP is going to be really good as well. We're still a ways away from learning actual, like, uh... Frickin', what's it called? The counter nun ability. I mean, I can just turn it on. It's the remaster ability. If you want to do that, go for it. But I'm not going to go do that. And these floors are generally all the same. 
I guess all the lower ones do have the barriers down. Huh. I know the upper ones don't all have barriers on them. Alright, so... Oh, there's a save point in there, but that's not where we're looking for. There. Right there. Give me this. Hello? There you go. Combat King number one. So this Combat King number one is actually a Limit Break enabler. Not enabler, but shower for uh, Zell's Limit Break. It's Dolphin Blow. Uh, you could do this, apparently, without this book, but now that we have it, it will actually show up on his status screen in the, the near future. Let's see. I mean, it shows up right now, but... Yeah, I thought I'd turn this on. Because... I'm bad at it. <laughs> That's why. That's why I turn it on. I'm bad at it. Now, we actually, I think we do need to go up, but we'll head down here now. I don't think there's anything to do down here. Oh, there was no barrier. Oh, yeah, there's nothing down there. All right, cool. Actually, I'm going to go save, and then I'll meet you up at um, either the seventh floor, where we came from, or the, uh, there might be a floor we want to stop by on the way up there, too. Oh, that's right. Okay, there, this is the second floor in the second room over here. I'm getting to a random count, of course. There are some rooms that have drop... Oh, a Wendigo. I think we want to steal from you. I think there's something we want to steal from you. No, like, I think there's something we want to steal from you. Don't bear hug me. Thank you, steel pipe. Card him, by the way. Oh, really? Please work. There you go. Try to <laughs> negate some experience, like, getting here now, but not that big of uh, an issue, like I said, even more, but still. Uh, hey, there's a box. Receive a strength up. So that's one of the items I was talking about earlier, where there's items in the game that you can just increase your stats. So raise a stat, a uh, strength. Uh, I'm gonna save that for right now. I'm not sure who I would give it to. Probably Zell, or, I mean, anyone that's not really benefiting from the freaking uh, strength up junction ability. Uh, there's a box, pet name tag. I'm pretty sure this allows you to rename your GF. Change his pet's name, or is that... Oh, it might be Angelo's. Actually, I'm not even sure if I... Oh, we got paid again, woo. Our, our, our seed rank level up. There's another one up here, and actually on the third floor as well. Or not third floor, but floor floor. So that's a pet's house. Um, what does that do again? I don't know. Restores all of your GF's HP. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this just changes GF's name, maybe? I don't know. Never used it. I know it's an item, but... Not really that important, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, there is a tent on the fourth floor that's right above us. Again, they're not really round-breaking items. But the strength up is really good, actually. There you go. Turn him into a card. I'm not even sure if we had that guy as a card, to be honest. Well, like I was saying before, we're at a level right now where we're not really concerned with uh, the enemies here. Because we can just one-shot everyone. Um, sadly, it's one of those things where it's going to be like that for a good chunk of the game. <laughs> Until, like, mid-game... Actually, even in mid-game, a lot of the random encounters are just gonna be there. That's kind of why I want to get Encounter None. Because, aside from a few encounters that I just kind of want to, like... There'll be, like, one encounter in one of the dungeons later on where I want to get certain items from by using a uh, Junction's Level Up command and the Mug command. But aside from that, like, a lot of the random encounters are just... Nah. At least I've got two of those cards, actually, I guess. That's good. I think the tent should be in here. And that's it for items until we get further up. So I'm going to meet you guys at floor seven. All right, let's continue going up. We don't really need anything on the eighth floor. There is actually uh, a guy with a shop in here. If you want to talk to him, be like, hey, can I buy some stuff? He's, from, he's a Balan Garden student, apparently. He's working for Galbati right now. Oh, okay. But yeah, we can uh, buy items off him if you want. There's, I don't think there's really anything we need from him. Some tents might be good. Uh, we'll definitely need... Actually, 
We can do that right now, can't we? Because you already we already learned that, didn't we? Where is it? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me show you a, a, a money making scheme. Uh, so we go to tents here. We're gonna buy a hundred of them, or ninety nine of them. Okay. So we pretty much spent a hundred thousand dollars, give or take, right? So let's come in here to uh, recover magic. Go to tents. And then we want to get 25 of these. Then we want to come back here and sell 25 of them. As you can see, we made a profit of $25,000, which is pretty neat, right? Um, it gets better. <laughs> Later on, uh, we'll be able to actually buy cottages. And as you saw, probably, it might've went too fast, uh, but in the recovery med junction or ability, we can refine two cottages into one mega potions, meaning we could buy a hundred cottages and then make 50 mega potions and same, like just sell a lot and make a big profit. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can, uh, just make a $25,000 profit every time you do it right now. There is actually a way to increase that later on, like the lower the cost of the, the, the tents or cottage that you buy and increase the cost of selling them. It's pretty great. And I don't know why <laughs> they uh, left it like that. Uh, this is a berserk junction, not junction, draw point. So go ahead and use that if need be. And uh, ooh, you know what? There is someone on this floor that we do want to play cards with. That's right. There's actually a card players, card players in this this prison. For some reason, I don't know. There's actually one here that you can get a Rosetta Stone from, which uh, teaches your GF's uh, ability times four. Ability times four opens four slots for your abilities, um, which is great. But at the same time, we're naturally going to be getting GF's with that ability later on. So I'm not gonna do that you can actually farm it too um there is there is an rng method of doing it where you pretty much you reload a save here and you run to the uh the card player and then i, I think you have to like you gotta challenge him and like exit out like 55 times or 54 times and on the 55th time if you did it quick enough he'll he'll drop the rosetta stone Man, RNG manipulation's weird sometimes, all right? But anyways, we talked to this guy. He's like, oh, you got a battle meter. You're a mercenary or something? If you win this game, I'll add something special to that thing for you. But I charge 30, 30, uh, 300 gil per game. So, uh, Dolet's rules. I don't want to do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, trade one, that's fine. Play. We don't really care about any of the cards that he's going to give us, to be quite honest. Uh, I will take that god dang freaking uh, ruby dragon, speed it up a little bit, because I will need one of those. And you only have s uh, seven top, so we should be fine there. Uh, let's do down here. You can't take this. No, you can this. You can't take this. So I win. Go me. Uh, let's get that ruby dragon. Oh, okay, I promise, I promise. Let me see that battle meter. Just move this part around. There you go. Now you can look at even more detailed records. I don't think I've ever actually shown that off, nor have I really looked at it. Where do I even see it? Battle operations? Yo, where the hell do I even look at this goddamn battle meter? Oh, no, honestly, I I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it bat? No, no. That just rearranges it. Huh. We 
we still have this, and I should probably teach that to the brothers. We don't really need it right now. Uh, the regen ring is useful for refining, but it's also something I need for a weapon upgrade later on. That's why I wanted to get it. We'll be getting it more later, but still. Um, huh. Where the hell is the battle meter? You know what? I guess we'll, we'll worry about that next time, right? We got ending the episode here, Kronos? Yeah, at the save point. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why do you have my videos? I can check out some of the content, see what you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.